Now for today's Daily Dish, Chef Sean Shell is showing us some delicious 4th of July foods. I know you guys are all getting ready for your big backyard barbecue or what have you, so we wanted some ideas from the pro himself. Good to have you back here. Nice to be back. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah of course. Happy early 4th. And, Thank uh, you so and much. morning, Carolina. Yeah, Good it's, it's going to be a great time. Everyone loves when you visit here. And, and we threw a secret dish at you today with the mushrooms. We but did. And they, they were just, delicious. They were absolutely fabulous. And I tell you what, you guys need to go out to the farm and, uh, and get you some of these mushrooms. They are amazingly they're, tasty. They're delicious. And you've been cooking all morning, and they all had the red, white, and blue theme. So yes. tell us what we have here on our spread. To to kind of counteract and, and uh, in, involve the red, white, and blue, what I decided to do today was one of my favorite coleslaws, which is a, a blue cheese coleslaw. I've never had a blue cheese coleslaw that I think. The, that's, the, that's the red, white, and blue. <laughs> that's really simple. This right here is just a pack of, 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 uh, of shredded slaw mix you can get in each store. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is add a little bit of, this is just shaved purple cabbage. Because I asked Chef Sean, I said, please make it approachable and easy for our, our viewers to do at home. So, I mean, this is, this is something you really can just grab. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to show you exactly how easy it is. Now, of course, you need a little salt and pepper to season this. <laughs> got to have them. We have need to have B-Boy uh, salt and pepper shakers yes, we can, and we can baby freeze. Around. We're going to work on those with, with Joe. A little salt and pepper there. And then uh, I always add a little bit of, of either red wine vinegar. Or I like apple cider vinegar because mm -hmm. it typically goes real well with pork. So we're just going to put a little bit of that in there, probably about maybe three tablespoons. So that gives you a little bit of some, some purple. A little acidity. Uh, <laughs> and then just a little bit of olive oil. And again, this is such a simple, simple uh, coleslaw to make. So and far, so good. So, so far, so, so good. far, I feel like I Just can do this. Just a little sprinkle of, of Italian seasoning or oregano is always okay. in there. And then, of course, you got to have garlic. Garlic's one of those musts. We're just going to throw that it. in there. And then this right here is probably about maybe uh, six, eight, six to eight ounces of uh, crumbled blue cheese. You, you can buy the Danish blue. I've never had blue cheese you can crumble in a slaw before. If you'd like. And then, of course, Duke's mayo. <laughs> Duke's mayo. You gotta have the Duke's. You gotta have the release. And some people swear by Duke's. They have to have nothing else but Duke's. As a chef, I definitely do. And this okay. is probably about three quarters of a cup and then of, you just, of mayo. And then if you want to, Marcus, you can go ahead and just stir it all up. Stir it up. Do I stir it or do I toss it? You Doesn't can matter. You stir it, toss it. Okay, whatever you want to do, huh? Yep. So just get it all nice and nice and incorporated. Mixed there. Yep. I'm throwing it everywhere. You show. You see how much I do this at home? None. It's a, it's, a, it's a very <laughs> simple coleslaw. Now, you want to put this in the refrigerator for probably about 30 minutes after you toss it. Give a little chill on it. Yeah, and then you'll give a little chill on it. And, uh, again, it's, it's an mm, amazing mm. it's amazing variation on blue cheese. And it's uh, it's not traditional like a southern sweet yeah. coleslaw. Uh, so I'm going I'm to take a fork to it. It's just that simple. So we have our slaw. What else do we have here? Now, we have another thing we're going to do today is we're going to do a pork slider. Of course, pork is one of those things that everybody loves to have on and, and eat during mm. the 4th of July. Yes. So we're going to start off. These right here are split-top potato rolls. And to this, what we're going to do is I've got a little barbecue sauce because you know you got to have a little barbecue. I'm going to put this right here on the top. A little barbecue sauce. Is there any secret to, to cooking um, the like pork? A pork. Generally, I grill that one on the grill. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to grill it. Uh, you do want to try to get your as much pork of the... may not turn out looking like this. It's a beautiful thing. It's, now, it's gorgeous. What we're going to do is we are going to take. Uh, we'll, we'll just take. Let me see. Let me find my fork. I know. I probably ate off. That's one okay. Here, well, we'll just do it like this. That's okay. We'll do it like you this. Got it. We're just going to take a slice of this right here. We're going to put it right there on the top. And now what I do have here, too, is, of course, it's peach season in the upstate. Yes. And what I have is I have grilled off some peaches. Now, these are peaches from Gaffney. These are Gaffney peaches. Gaffney peaches. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a few of these peaches right on the top there. And, of course, you just grill these. You don't have to season peach them with anything. Peach pork sliders. Peach pork sliders. For the 4th of July. And now we're just going to put some of these right on the top there. Oh, my gosh. It looks so they good. They are amazing. And then, of course, to this, what I, what I love to cook, and it's really, really good for you, is uh, some kale. Now, this, this kale is uh, mixed with spinach, and it's just going to give it a little texture. See, and, I didn't even know. It looked flavor. like collards to me. So I was yeah. like, well, now, you could easily, easily use collards and get away with it. Make it extra southern, extra American. Okay. So this is kind of round two. Pork sliders. And, again, this is a spinach and kale. We're just going to put this right on the top. And of course, you just fold these over like you would a sandwich. And then I have these right here, these little picks, because you got to keep it. You got to keep it real. <laughs> got to keep it in the American theme. And one last thing that I did make today too is I make a variation of baked beans. What I do is I use uh, regular baked beans, mm -hmm. and then I take about a pound of sausage. I like hot country sausage. Yes. I cook that off, and then to that I add a can of uh, baked beans, and then I add a can of uh, chili beans. Sausage, chili, baked beans. Yes, and you bake that off, what? and I tell you what, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, uh, accent to both the coleslaw. And the sliders. These sliders, though, they mm -hmm. look so, so good. That's what you want. That's what's for dinner. <laughs> buy local if you can. With, buy local. With, especially with the peaches when Gaffney's right up the street. Right up the street. Please buy some local peaches mm -hmm. and, and do that. Um, things going well for you? Going You're just really good. Being busy? Yes. 
Now we have a we have an exciting weekend this weekend at Summit Hills. Yes, we are doing a, a cookout uh, from. 11 Hello to our friends over there at yep. Summit Hills. Uh, Eleven to two. Uh, come on, we're going to have bands. Face Don't mind painting. that sound. That's just my stomach growling. Don't even worry about that. Face painting. Uh, <laughs> again, it's from uh, eleven o'clock to two o'clock. There is a, a, a fee of five dollars at the gate, but you can okay. bring as many people in the car as you can fit in the car to get in. And again, we're going to have barbecue, uh, coleslaw. Uh, baked beans, corn on the cob. You can just make all this. Time. You can yep. just make all this over there. Sure can. I need to come to Summit Hills for a visit. I plan. It's on my list of things to do. Awesome. So we can do a cooking segment over there. Beautiful. Chef Sean, happy 4th of July to you. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here and sharing all these dishes with us. And then we'll see you soon, I'm sure. Coming up next in Studio 62, we have that keyword for you to win tickets to go zip lining. Stick around for your chance to win them. That's coming up next. And after this break, a live performance from Asheville's underdog crew. We check out more of their B-boy skills. You're watching Studio 62 for all things local.